Have you ever wondered what Xenoverse 2 truly was like back in the day, even back all the way to the actual beta of this game? Because that's something that I've honestly been thinking about quite a bit. How much has this game actually changed from the early days of Xenoverse till now? And luckily enough, there actually is footage of this game from the beta there was a beta tournament held by bandai and dimps i don't know who exactly it was one of the two they basically held a tournament for the beta though this right here is the video of that beta i'll have it linked down below in the description if you want to check it out for yourself but you can see what the dates right here maybe i moved myself out the way but you can see what the dates it says 10 8 2016 through the 10th so that's october 8th through the 10th is when this tournament went down in 2016 and xenoverse 2 did not release until like october 20th of 2016 so this was literally right before xenoverse 2 actually came out and in today's video i just want to take a look at the final match and truly see how people were playing the game at that point in time compared to how we really play now at this point almost eight year no seven years later i was about to say eight but that was wrong almost seven years later my boys that is absolutely insane so let's jump into this we're gonna fast forward to like the final match because i'm assuming all these matches like i looked through it and it is a multitude of matches so i'm assuming the last one is the actual final match that determined the champion of this beta tournament right here so let's go all the way was it like a two out of three because i'm seeing okay hold on Okay, here we go here we go this is the final match right here in between R rin rion and kaziki 15 so let's just see how the game was played in, in comparison to now for example like just movement wise what's different with how they're uh the things that they're doing oh oh early stamina break you know that would not be happening in today's game if this was a actual tournament finals things along those lines you would not be seeing mistakes anything like that so far, the gameplay is fairly basic for the most part. Uh, just a, a lot of, you know, you're not even, like right there, you didn't even see a full combo come out. So you can see the difference in how people were playing the game at this point in time compared to where it is now. Now, it does look like this man, Ren Rion, is actually whooping, well, I wouldn't say whooping Kaziki's ass, but he definitely has the big advantage. Hold on, hold on. Stamina's all the way down for the man, Kaziki. Oh, interesting. Oh, 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 he went, he went for the back hit like that. That's a, you should never do that. I always say that in tournaments. You should never do that. You should always make sure you make your opponent waste stamina, especially with how back hits work today. Maybe back then it could have been a little bit different because back hits were a lot more, they were, a, it was something that was much better. Like you could actually predict your opponent's vanishes and punish them things like that when they did vanish. But overall, man, the gameplay is looking very, very, very generic in comparison to where we are today with xenoverse 2 and honestly that's really what all i wanted to see in this video right here was just how different people played you know at this point in time compared to now oh was that was that was that a key stun oh whoa, 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 what my boy key stun twice showing that key stunning was in the game from the very beginning this is something that reach out pointed out actually i think he just key stunned right there too okay so the man the man Kaziki had been key stunning before any, so he must have figured this out during the beta that key stunning actually worked like that. Cause watch him, watch him, he's actually stunning. That is a big surprise. Watch, watch. Wait, not here, right here. Hold on. Okay, he. I don't know if that was meant to stun. It didn't even look like it was meant to be canceled. I think he kind of just threw it out there, but he does stun at other points. You'll see. I believe coming up right here, he's about to throw a key stun out. Boom. So, see, see how he, he threw the key? He tried to throw the key stun and get the punish. And then he key stunned him right there and did get the punish. So key stun had been around from the beta days on Xenoverse 2, my boys. That's actually crazy. Now, one thing you can really take note of is that the combo game for both of these are, are just, they're, they're not comfortable with the buttons yet. Like, they're not comfortable with all the, the light to heavies, things along those lines, because there is a lot of combo dropping. And this is something you saw a lot of in the beta right there, boys. That's something you saw a ton of. Literally, knock away into full, uh, full power energy blast volley. You saw that so much in the beta because people saw it as an easy way to get off damage. There wasn't really anything like that in Xenoverse 1 where you just knock your opponent away and go into an ultimate and it would actually work. Oh, that was that was some lag. 
So we see the lag has always been existence for anybody who may have been wondering about that. This overall, man, very, very generic gameplay for the most part. I was, I was honestly kind of, it was kind of cool to see the stunning. Oh, there we go. Another key stun right there from the homie Kaziki. Now, he's definitely not using it a lot, but he is using it. Look, again, right? Got him with it again. Got him with it again. Oh, oh, see, messed up the combo right there. He thought that was going to knock him away to where he could do a full power energy blast volley and will fully connect. Clearly, that was not the case. Now, one thing we, we really ain't seen is like stamina breaks or anything like that either. Again, just a major difference in how the game was played at this point in time compared to where we are now. And it's always cool to just look back at the game at this point. And it would be really cool if there was like a beta build out there of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. That would actually be fire. So it seems like the homie Rin Rion actually ends up winning the tournament. But again, just to take a look at how Xenoverse 2 was back then is honestly kind of cool. And I really, really do wish that there was some way we could get our hands on a beta build of this game just to truly see all the differences in the game. I mean, for example, when the game first dropped, Aura Slide was considered to be such an OP move. Like one of the best moves, if not the best move in the game for all the different things that it did allow you to do. And it gave you free combo extension at the same time. Because remember, in Xenoverse 1, infinite combos were something that the community absolutely hated. So when that was available in Xenoverse 2 with Aura Slide, a lot of people hated that skill. And I'm not going to lie. At the time, I did myself because there were not many skills like it. But in today's game of Xenoverse 2, there are so many skills that offer up combo extension. It's kind of crazy to think about the simple fact that the community had issue with Aura Slide back then. When now, again, literally so many moves offer that combo extension do more damage than aura slide did they may not have as much utility as aura slide did because aura slide had like the back hit it had a little bit more range when you did the second and third inputs things along those lines so it may not have had those things that aura slide did but the combo extension which was the biggest issue that people had with that move is something so many moves in today's game actually do have like so many things have changed and like i said it really would have been cool to see or, or to get our hands on a beta build of this game to truly just see the differences in what's changed over time throughout these almost seven years now at this point. So let me know what you guys thought about this gameplay right here from the Xenoverse 2 beta and from this tournament and just how different it is compared to what you see now in online gameplay, especially when you're talking about people who are playing at the highest level of Dragon Ball Xenoverse 2. So again, let me know what you guys think about all this down below in the comments. But till next time, man, thank you guys so much for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and as always, hope you have a good one. Peace, y'all.